Hey folks, Jonathan here. Still fighting this hurricane. It's actually uh, Saturday. And I don't know what time it is. Let me see. I'll tell you. 3.47. Uh, about to go stir crazy. I uh, really can't do much. Can't uh, work outside at all. Uh, waiting on my welder. I bought a new welder, so I, I don't want to work on the... I don't want to do anything on the drag car until I get it. Because, you know, that next thing is doing some welding and stuff, so... Uh, I figured I would mess with this bike a little bit. Go ahead and try to get the frame design and figure out how we're going to drive this thing on this two-speed and figure out what rims we're going to use. Uh, I've got two different choices on this. I can't make up my mind. Uh, let me explain well, first where we ended up, where we stopped at on the engine. I nickel plated in parts and I had the gears hardened and we didn't stick it completely back together. I was changing the way that the points were set up. So we've got to finish that up, but that's you know no big issue whatsoever. Uh, we know we can; it'll run, no problem there. Uh, now, as for what my plans are here, I plan to build a frame. I'm not going to build a frame. Probably like I don't know that it, it's been built one built like this. I'm not going to build it out around two. But I, I've got my own idea. My plans were, and what I wanted to do was make this a vintage looking style motorcycle. But what what I run into is, is I personally want to use everything vintage and or vintage look and all that and you know it's it's just about impossible. And uh, so what I've done, you know I've got we've got the engine, we've got the transmission that uh Malk sent me that I purchased from uh, UK. Uh, I've got the shifter that was sent to me by a YouTube subscriber and I don't have his name right now I look for it I couldn't find it but before this builds up I'll definitely be mentioning him that's a two-speed shifter and it's like a jockey shift uh, on the side of the tank for that transmission and definitely using it uh, I've got some uh, that was the carburetor I bought it's a Chinese carburetor uh, Nuke from Kentucky actually sent me these ammo carburetors and I've got one in particular here I think I'm probably going to go through and, and rebuild and use. Uh, I looked at these on eBay, not these particular ones, but ammo carburetors, and I couldn't really afford the price that they was asking for them. And, you know, unless they had it listed on a size, I, I, I was shooting in the wind, you know, about what size to get and stuff. So this worked out great. I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it, Nuke. Uh, he also sent me these. Some of you may have seen these on the... Uh, one of the videos, but my Elkar, Whippet, and a Macar, which is all three I've got, uh, they're basically the, the emblems of, the, well, the one on the far left is just an advertisement, but the uh, Elkar is the emblem for the front blown up and made into stickers for my, put on my machine there. And I appreciate that. So anyway, where we're at, and I've also got an oil can. I know uh, Richard from Kentucky had sent me one, but I had another one that was sent in too, and I want to, uh, let everybody know what you know who sent it in but we'll get all the names together and everything on the parts for this and as we build it uh, you know I don't know when the next video will be and how long it's going to take or anything like that but you know I just wanted to go ahead and get on it I've got plans in my head and ideas now as for the rims Junior gave me two 21 inch Harley front rims that's what these are and I may end up using these uh, I'll have to you know build some stuff for them and, and it wouldn't be a, a big issue because I want to build my own band brake and stuff anyway. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going to use them or not. Now I had bought a set of wheels and I'll show you these. Okay, this is a, it's a pretty lightweight wheel but it is 11 gauge spoke. Uh, it would hold up for what I'm doing. This is 280 cc's but we're not going to, you know, we're not running crazy or nothing. So uh, This is actually for a motorized bicycle. And it's, uh, I think, a two and a half inch wheel, two and three quarter. It's a wider rim. It's bigger spokes. Uh, made for it. This is coaster brake. I don't like the way they run these sprockets. You have to do away with this sprocket, of course, and uh, come up with a brake lever on it, and then take this completely off, make a hub that goes on the center to run the sprocket. So we would have to do that. I actually bought the tires separate and put these on. And I'll show you the front wheel. That's one of the wheels I like. Okay, here's the front wheel. And uh, one of the reasons I like this, it's got a Sturmy Archer front brake on it. And 
I think it would do really well, especially to have a front brake. But uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. These tires are three by twenty-six, and uh, basically the same as a twenty-six inch bicycle wheel. It's just a, a bigger tire, a wider rim, and like I said, eleven gauge spokes. So I'm debating in between the two. I don't know. I know the other will be a lot heavier, the tires will be a lot heavier, you know, I'm not planning on putting this thing on the road or riding anything like that, so it wouldn't be a big issue, but, you know, if it was up to me, I would have some original old 20s rims, uh, or teens rims, and that's what I would be using, but I can't, you know, I've washed them, I've seen them, I, I can't afford them, you know, they, they just bring more money than I want to spend on, you know, this build, and... You know, if it was something for a work truck where you need it to make money with, it's something different. But this is just a toy. So we've got to be careful how we spend our money on our toys. So uh, anyway, we'll decide. I'll go one way or the other. And I'm going to show you what I'm working on right now. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get an alignment. I've got to, I've got to redo our flywheel here. And our flywheel's gotten a little bit of surface rust on it. Luckily, I've done all that nickel plating on everything else, so, you know, it didn't rust, but uh, a lot of humidity in the shop. But this is going to be machined anyway. I'm going to have to put a, a sprocket on here to actually run back to the big sprocket. And then there's another chain that goes on the small one back to the wheel. Now, i got to figure out the gear ratio on the transmission. I'm sure it's one-to-one -one and probably high and then lower and low, and uh, I'll go through it and figure that out. Uh, I think we're going to get by with the clutch that's on it. And I've got to make the shaft that runs across. I've got a piece to make it. Uh, and like I said, we'll get the uh, we'll get the shifter hooked up. It's a little dirty here from sitting, but we'll get the uh, the shifter hooked up, and uh, that'll really make it nice. But what we've got, so I've got to pull this off. Figure out what I'm going to do on it. I got to figure out a, a a tooth count. I've got plenty of sprockets for this chain, and then. Uh, I almost have to figure out what wheel we're going to use. Uh, actually, the wider wheel would work out better. It's going to set us out farther because I'm trying to get the tire in the center of the engine. I don't know that we're going to be able to. We may have to move it over this way just a little bit, which is not a big issue when we got the weight and stuff out here. So it's not going to it's not going to make it you know fall over or nothing like that. I mean, it's just I would like to have it in the center. So uh, I wish I had a tire and on that 21 inch wheel and I'm going to roll them up beside each other so you see the difference in height and stuff okay 21 inch wheel but it's basically it's basically the same size diameter wise as a 26 inch bicycle uh, because the bicycle is not measured 26 by the wheel it's measured 26 by the I believe the center frame post or something but uh, but we're, we're basically looking at two 21 inch wheels so there's not much difference the motorcycle wheel is a lot heavier. It's wider. Uh, I've got to figure out for sure what I'm going to do though. Uh, the other one I've got don't have bearings. Uh, Junior said he's got the bearings for it. Like I said, it's not a it's not an issue. Uh, he had one with disc brake. I don't want disc brake because I didn't want it to look new. I sort of wanted it to look old, but. Uh, you know, it really don't matter, I guess, to this point, because we're just going to build it the way that I want to build it and not worry about it being a period correct style. Because if I keep waiting around, waiting around to do that as a period correct, waiting for parts and, and all that stuff, then, uh, you know, it's going to be forever before we get on anything, get anything done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get some measurements figured out, try to get the... Uh, I guess try to get which wheel I'm going to use figured out, and uh, I guess we'll go from there, All right? Okay, folks, I have come to the conclusion that I'm going to use the Harley wheels, and I think I'll take the other wheels and save them for the pocket bike build. When I've when I done this engine, I had planned to do a belt drive, flat belt to the rim. That was before I found this transmission, so that's why it's built the way it's built. So we'll change that around. I really need that extra width on these rims, not necessarily the tire, but the hub, to get what I need to get. And the others will work really good for that little pocket valve engine because I'm going to use an original bicycle frame. And this one, of course, I'm building the frame. 
So now what we're going to do, I'm going to lay, I'm going to lay, basically lay everything flat. I'm not going to do the engine. I'm going to use one of my other cases, and I'm going to try to draw this frame out how I want it and be able to lay the rims where I want them and everything to be able to design my frame the way that I want it. And I've got a piece of cardboard for that, so we're going to get to that now. And, you know, this is just stuck in there and laid in there. I understand the tire's not going to fit and all that. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm just trying to get, I was just trying to get a, a width here. And I think I can work with what I've got here. I'll be able to uh, machine enough off to get our, get our sparking on our front and then uh, keep the weight of the flywheel as much as I can and still be able to have the transmission in a place where I can run back to a sprocket. Now probably what I'll do is make a piece sort of like this and I'll use it on the other side and I will just slide it over this hub and I'll indicate it in, weld it and then the sprocket will bolt to it and on the other side or maybe machine this one off, it don't matter but uh, we're not planning on using this because I, I do need to go in a little narrower and uh, to make it work but but that's going to work uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out and so I can get the frame design now. Okay, here's what I got. Piece of cardboard. I got that wheel just because it's got the tire. I got that because it's about the size of the or the diameter of the sprocket. And uh, and the sprocket, I mean, it sits over the side so we can go narrow. Uh, as narrow as the box is anyway. And then uh, this is just an engine case and the same sort of you know cylinder. So I'm just trying to get an idea in my head and I'm going to be moving this stuff around a bunch. I'm going to draw the frame out with pencil and then once I get it where I want it, I'll go over it with a black magic marker and that will be our, that'll actually be our uh, template. So, Alright, okay, going to be really hard to see. I've got it drawn out. I'm going to try to trace over it with the marker. I don't know how good of a job I'm going to do. But uh, anyway, it's going to get cut out either way, but I want, I want to... Uh, I'm going to do it with the marker and then I'm going to show you what my plans are. Okay, here's my frame design. Uh, I liked it better in pencil, but I couldn't see it on the camera in pencil, so we just went over with the marker. Uh, I have a harder time tracing than I do drawing. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to set everything in there, like it, you know, sort of like it's going to be, that way you'll get an idea, and then I'll explain while I'm, why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. If you notice, uh, this bar, and this bar are tapered and I know you would think with round tubing you're not going to be able to get that but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do okay you might be able to see some of this and get an idea of what uh, what I'm going for this is going to be a low long look and I went with the drop tube in the center just like the, you know the old bikes but some of the other stuff is a little different now, I didn't look at any pictures, but I, I didn't look purposely because I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to influence how I'd done it. I uh, just wanted to do it, you know, the way I wanted to. Okay, my plans. Now, I don't know if anybody's done this. I'm sure somebody has before, but what my plans are is actually to make this as a pattern, and then I'm going to make it into a wooden pattern, the same as, you know, just the frame. And the only thing that's going to be round on this bike is going to be that tube. I'm going to cut this out of a sheet of steel. I'm going to cut two of them. We'll space them apart. We'll do the bending we need to do to bring the, uh, well, can't call it a swing arm, but to bring the rear part of the frame out. And then uh, we'll make plates that go inside. And we'll actually weld this entire frame up. And, you know, it'll, it'll be a square frame. But that's why, as you can see, there's radiuses here and here and radius down here. I want to radius all the corners so we don't have any cracks. Uh, but that's the plan, that's the idea. And for anybody that's looking, watching this, because I, I noticed that the views on the, the engine build, you know, around five or 6,000, so I know a lot of people have probably not seen the engine build. And the engine, I'm not the level down. The engine's right here. Uh, it, I'm going to leave a little link in the uh, description of the three and a half minute video of this engine and uh, building this engine. I didn't build it 
from scratch, but I mean it's it's a mix of parts and stuff I built. Uh, so you know you can watch it if you'd like. And there's a whole series on building it. Uh, I actually built the smelter to cast the block and the uh, wooden patterns. Uh, you know it, it was well. I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. I hope everybody enjoyed watching it. But. Uh, I just wanted to build an engine basically sort of the way they did back then. I mean, we could have built all of our other parts, but you know, you start getting into something that's really time consuming. I uh, didn't want to take forever on it, so we mix matched some stuff Yamaha crank uh, and overhead, which or a cylinder, which is a uh, auxiliary power unit cylinder. And we've done, done some nickel plating, stuff like that. But anyway, a lot of people have seen it, so they don't know what I'm talking about. but. Uh, but this is the basic design. You know, it may change a little bit from here. Uh, we're, like I said, we're on hardtail, spring seat. Uh, I can change the rake, adjust the rake as I need to or as I want to. Uh, long and low. Uh, it's 280 cc's is what the engine is. So, you know, it's not a big street bike or nothing like that. But uh, we're just playing. If we can get 35, 40 mile an hour out of it and have plenty of power to get there, we'll be fine. Uh, just a toy. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I'm going to probably go ahead and get this cut out. And then uh, I'll, we'll make the wooden pattern out of plywood. Uh, that way I can run the uh, plasma cutter around it. Uh, now I did leave it size-wise to where when I, what I'm going to do is cut it out. And then I'll put the two pieces together and probably just tack them. And then we'll do all the grinding, get them exact so they match each other. And then, you know, start setting the width apart and getting everything done so uh all right appreciate everybody watching till next time bye